Mu. <laughs> Hello, little learners. Braden and Bubbles here, and today we'll be putting on our lab coats and heading into the laboratory. I'm so excited. We're gonna be doing some science experiments. Are you ready, Bubbles? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh, oh, here we are, Bubbles! Wait a second, I think we're missing something. I know! Ah! Look at that, Bubbles! This is so much better! Little learners, a lab or a laboratory is a place where scientists conduct their scientific experiments. And today, Bubbles, we're gonna be the scientists. But before we conduct any experiments, we have to make sure that we're being safe while in the lab. So, let's put on some safety gloves. Like this. Here we go, Bubbles. And that is one safety glove. Look at that. And two safety gloves. Just like that. One, two. Two safety gloves for my two hands. And lastly, we need to put on our safety goggles. Right here. Okay, let's put them on. And boop. How do I look, Bubbles? Do I look like I'm ready to conduct some scientific experiments? <laughs> Great. Well, today our experiments are going to be chemical reactions. A chemical reaction is when you put two different things together and it makes something new. And we have two different experiments that involve chemical reactions. Our first experiment is a volcano. Oh, but it, don't worry, Bubbles. It's not the kind of volcano with hot lava. A volcano is like a mountain but it erupts and makes lots of hot lava in it. But instead of lava, we're gonna be using real chemicals that you can find in a volcano. Isn't that super cool? <laughs> right. Okay, so let's take our chemicals and mix them together. I'll move our volcano over here for just a second. Put our bowl of mixing right there. Get our two chemicals and let's Add them together. Whoosh. Look at that, Bubbles. Now we just have to mix them. Let's stir it. Stir, 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 stir. Stir, stir, stir. Good stirring. Got to break up that little bit right there. Good job. All righty. Now we just have to add to our volcano. So, we're gonna take this and put it in here. Whoosh. Gonna get a little messy, but that's okay. That's what science is. We get a little messy so that we can discover the world. All right, perfect. I think that's just the right amount. And we want to add a little bit of dish soap so that our reaction will be nice and fast and big, just a tiny bit, like that. All right, Bubbles. Now, I think we're missing one more thing. Oh, that's right. We want to use the color red. Red is the color of lava. So I think it'd be great if we added red to our volcano. Just a little bit right there. And then we need to add water. Water's gonna be what makes our volcano erupt. So let's get our water. I had it right there. Ooh, look at all of this water. All right, Bubbles, you ready to see our volcano erupt? How about you, little learners? Oh, don't be scared, Bubbles, it's gonna be okay. Ready? Here we go. Ooh. 
Look at it go! Wow! Look at our volcano erupt! Whoosh. Wow! Look at that volcano! Whoosh. And look! All of our lava is nice and red! <laughs> I love volcanoes, don't you, Bubbles? All right. Well, that's only our first experiment. And I think you're gonna love our second experiment, Bubbles, because it's called Elephant's Toothpaste. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not the kind of toothpaste you use to brush your teeth with. It just looks like toothpaste. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our volcano that nicely erupted right there. We're gonna put it away so we can make room for our toothpaste. Okay. We've got our handy dandy bottle right there. That's where our experiment's going to happen. I'll put it to the side for just right now. For this experiment, we need some hydrogen peroxide right here. So we're gonna put it inside of here so we know that we have just the right amount of hydrogen peroxide. I'm gonna move this water. Okay, let's put our hydrogen peroxide in there. Bubbles ready? And There it goes. Look at all of that hydrogen peroxide. Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> oh, we're almost there, Bubbles. Keep filling, keep filling. And perfect. That is just right. That's a lot of hydrogen peroxide, isn't it, Bubbles? <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Now we're going to put it in our water bottle. We need a little funnel like this, so we make sure we don't spill any, right? So let's take our water bottle and fill it with hydrogen peroxide. Just like that. Wow. Look at that water bottle fill up, little learners. Great. Oh, wow, Bubbles. Look, we just have to add the rest of our experiment to it and see what happens. Okay, let's move this over to the side for right now because the thing we'll be adding to our hydrogen peroxide is a mixture of two other things. So let's get our bowl out to help with our mixture. And first, we're going to need to add water. And we're in luck because I have three test tubes full of water. See? Right here. Okay. Can you count these test tubes with me as we add water to our bowl? All right, let's go. Ready, Bubbles? One test tube. And two test tubes. What comes after two? That's right. Three test tubes. Great counting. Okay, now that we've put our water in there, we just need to add our yeast. Bubbles, do you know what yeast is? Yeast is something that we use to make bread, but we're not making bread today. We're making science. All right, let's add it to our water. Pour it in there. Ooh. And then we have to stir it. Can you stir with me? Stir, 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 stir. <laughs> Good stirring, Bubbles. Keep stirring. We need to make sure it's nice and mixed all together. Look at that. Doesn't that look yummy, Bubbles? No, it doesn't look yummy. Oh, okay. I think this is good. We're going to set it aside just for now because we're not quite done with our hydrogen peroxide. We've got two more things to add to it. What do you think we should add to our hydrogen peroxide, Bubbles? Well, first, we need to put more dish soap in there to help with our reaction. So just a little bit of dish soap. Boop. Perfect. And then I want to add some food coloring to make our toothpaste look like toothpaste. What color should we use, Bubbles? Because I was thinking we could use blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. Those are Bubbles' favorite colors. <laughs> All right, let's add these colors to our hydrogen peroxide. Just a little bit there. And a little bit here. Perfect. We don't need too much. Boop. Boop. 
All right. I think we're ready for our reaction bubbles. Are you ready for some elephant toothpaste? I know I am. Okay. Let's take our funnel here, put it on top, and get ready to add our yeast. Are you ready, little learners? I wonder what will happen. Let's add them together. Ooh, there it goes. Whoa, it's turning different colors. Oh, it's starting to fill up. What's happening? Oh no, Bubbles, oh no. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Wow, it's oozing out. Oh, and it's green. Blue and yellow together makes green. You see the yellow right there? Whoa, that's so cool, Bubbles. Look at it oozing, it's still going. Wow, whoa. You can see on the other side, there's some blue right there too. Blue, right there, blue and yellow. Oh wow, it's a little messy, but that's okay. Thank you so much for being our friend. I can't wait for our next adventure together. So until then, bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Bubbles. Bye-bye. <laughs>